medical professionals and paraprofessionals from the Maryland National Guard's 104th Area Support Medical Company participated in their annual cadaver lab this weekend. The training took place at the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore. The use of cadavers is a crucial part of this training. It helps medics and medical providers become more comfortable with techniques they may have to use when a life is on the line. We're equipping them and training them now to handle things that they could potentially be exposed to in the event that they were deployed. Um, and we're kind of, again, desensitizing them and getting rid of that shock and awe of what, what I would do and how would I handle this situation if I were potentially exposed to it. The hands-on training included practicing procedures for airway management, chest decompression, and wound closure. This type of training is invaluable for those medics not currently working in the medical field full-time. Being trained as a medic and eventually becoming a doctor, I look back at my experiences in the cadaver lab and it's probably one of the most helpful experiences I've had as far as moving forward in my training as a doctor. Reporting for the 29th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Private First Class Patrick Rooney.